Hey everybody, welcome to Why Web3, where we talk about new technology quickly and in simple terms. Today, I've got Renato Garo here to talk about the future of marketplaces. Renato, I've heard a lot about decentralized marketplaces, Web3 marketplaces promising to do better than the centralized marketplaces we have right now. Can you please tell us what's going on here? Yeah, thanks, Benny, for the opportunity to join you here. And hi, everybody, for uh, this is a great time to actually meet you and talk about marketplaces. Uh, what we see in the next generation of marketplaces is that there will be marketplaces that are going to be decentralized. Compared to the centralized marketplaces of today that are owned and operated by a few companies or a few entities, um, they define the rules and regulations. They may decide to charge low or high fees and then all the gains from running the marketplace go to them. Uh, on the centralized marketplaces, you're gonna have uh, really a different perspective where the operators of the marketplace are gonna be decentralized, are gonna be the people that are working or um, using the marketplace to offer goods and services. The rules and regulations are gonna be defined by this community and, and the gains will be as well distributed among the, the users of the platform. Uh, this is really changing because you can really have a marketplace where you don't have to go through an intermediary or a middleman to be able to transact between one to many people. So that is what's groundbreaking here and Web3 technologies are enabling all this change. It's exciting. And I like how you put that out where this technology really can better match um, participants in a marketplace and better suit their needs. So I asked you here because your company, Nebulae, is innovating in this space. Please, what are you guys doing? Yeah, so, so we're super excited. We're building the next generation technology marketplace where you can find the best technology solutions and talent. Uh, really, the best way to think about Nebulae is uh, as an innovation platform where companies are going to be able to source the best technology solutions, talent, and tap into potential ways to leverage uh, funding from uh, the DeFi ecosystem to drive innovation projects. And then from there, have the ability to publish those solutions that they develop using this uh, crowdsourcing of talent and solutions into our marketplace that um, is going to allow them to monetize on those solutions. And uh, what we see is that a great opportunity for disrupting the technology space where there is no single global technology marketplace today where organizations can tap into all these benefits. So we're excited about the prospect of using decentralized marketplaces in a way that is groundbreaking. Yeah, sign me up. Um, as somebody who hires talent and is constantly looking for the right fit, whether that be a product or a team or an agency, see tremendous value in a marketplace that's really designed around that need. Um, what, what stage is the company at and who are you guys looking to meet right now? Yeah, so we're developing the user interface and, and the development of the MVP, the minimal viable product. We should be done by the end of the year. So we're welcoming um, Web3 developers, technology providers that may want to list their solutions in the platform. Uh, go to nebulite.com or we're also actually doing fundraising. So you can look us up in netcapital.com forward slash companies, forward slash Nebulae, or just go and search for Nebulae, and you will be able to participate and join us for, for the ride and participate on this exciting opportunity to build the, the first decentralized technologies and solutions marketplace in the world. So um, anybody that's interested in Web3, we welcome you, and uh, hopefully you join us for the ride. I'll make sure to put the link in the show notes. Renato, thank you so much for joining us. Everybody listening, if there's a takeaway here, it's to understand what can we do better with marketplaces? Decentralized marketplaces offer promise to better match incentives and to be a better place to transact. So if you're a company that has a marketplace, has an offering, um, or maybe goes to the marketplace to find talent, consider what that might look like in Web3. And if you need help, you know where to find it. All right, we'll put the links in the show notes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Renato, for being here with us today. Thanks, man. See you next week, everybody.